Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I've got two Sauvignon Blancs in front of me, all the way from the Loire Valley in France, and not from really well-known places. One of them slightly well known. Uh, first one though is from a place called the Coteau du Genois, which really doesn't feature on too many people's uh, radar. It's Le Beaujour Coteau du Genois uh, 2014 uh, from Emile uh, Ballon, uh, weighing in at 12.5%. Uh, let's give it a whirl. Well, even as I pulled the cork, I could smell this little waft of gooseberries and black currant leaf. Uh, jumping up to say hello, um, and I stick my nose in there, and it's those fruits, but there's also like a, what I call a, a piercing stony freshness there. It smells like it's going to be bracing, uh, but full of flavour. That's just what it is. This is zingy acidity. Maybe it's going to be a little bit sharp for some people. It's only got my uh, eyes watering a bit, but what I like about it is it's a wealth of flavour. Um, and yes, so in with those uh, slightly green flavours, so the, the lemon and lime, uh, the ripe apple, ripe green apple, there's something a little, a little bit richer, uh, something that almost reminds me of um, chirimoya, custard apple, um, a juicy fleshy style, uh, but with this bracing acidity and raining it all in and uh, making sure it doesn't wobble over, but pretty tasty wine. Me like. Next one. Uh, this is uh, from a slightly better known place, Cancy, 2014, Van Noble, uh, from Domaine du Tremblay. Uh, Jean Tatin, I imagine he's the, uh, um, he's the owner of Domaine Tremblay. Um, again, 2014 vintage, and again, 12.5% alcohol. Let's give this one a whirl. This smells um, a little more herby, things like nettles. Um, it smells like, again like it's going to be on that bracing fresh side, uh, but maybe not as fruity and more of those slightly earthy characters coming through. Maybe it's not quite as fruity as the, uh, uh, as the Cote de Genois, but um, as I was, I was suspecting, it's got the, more of these earthy herb characters coming through. So um, if you want your fruit, go for the first one. If you want something that's a little bit more, maybe feels a little bit more soil related here. Um, it, there is richness there, so there's this crisp apple, uh, crisp green apple, and uh, a little bit of lemon and lime, uh, and, and then this touch of gooseberry. Uh, and I was talking about gooseberry on the on the first one. Here, maybe the gooseberry has gone uh, ever so slightly, um, not overripe, but if you cook gooseberries, put them in a pan with a little bit of sugar, and they just start to soften a little bit. That sort of gooseberry ooze, not stewed gooseberries, but. Um, yeah, but I like really, I really like both of these, uh, and I uh, will. Uh, I, pr problem is I haven't got any seafood downstairs. Uh, I'm, I, I film upstairs, that's why I say downstairs. Uh, but I haven't got any seafood downstairs. But I'd love to hoover these up uh, with some clams or something like that, and oysters. And uh, but um, hey, maybe I'll go and see if I can find some. See you soon. <laughs>